Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and get ready for another action-packed, stunt-filled episode of The Range Rider, starring Jock Mahoney and Dickie Jones. These two are just amazing horsemen, amazing stuntmen. They did all their own stunts. They did all their own horse work. These guys are just simply amazing to watch. Appreciate you coming by here. Have fun watching this, and we'll see you after the show. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play. And who could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider? With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, All-American Boy. Yeah, there you go, hauling and yanking like you're a bulldog and a steer. Oh, this stone's too round. You the flat one, then. Good thing this is just a practice drill. They're bled to death by now. Sounds like someone's hitting his gun at something. Well, there's two guns, Dick. Some of those shots were heavier than the others. Put out the fire. I'm George Colfax, Sheriff of Border City. Glad to know you. This is Sam Blades. Sam Blades, the outlaw? Good luck to him. Hey, this guy needs one of those tourniquets. That's a chest wound, Dickie. Make a compress for it. This ought to build your reputation, Sheriff. Sam Blades is supposed to be one of the fastest men in the West with a gun. Yeah, so I heard. It's been slowed down some now. Where are you fellas headed? No place in particular. Figure we might end up in Border City. Good. Blades will need a doctor, as if he lives to get there. I've got a posse scattered all over these hills. I've got to round him up. Suppose you two take in Blades for me. Glad to. He sure lost a lot of blood. He might make it, though, if we get him to the doctor quick enough. Exactly what we're going to do, Dickie. That's his horse over there. Well, you can handle everything here, all right. I'll start rounding up my men. Good luck, Sheriff. What's your story about this? No story. This is Sam Blades, the outlaw. Sheriff Colfax had just shot him as we rode up. He asked us to bring him into town, take him to a doctor. Evidently, he died on the way in. We know Blades, all right. He held up the bank this morning, single-handed. But this man is Sheriff Colfax. Now, will you tell us who you are and what really happened? I'm the range rider. As I told you before. Why bother with him? Instead, open and shut that part of Sam Blades' outfit. We don't want no sheriff killing outlaws around here, Mr. Armstrong. I say string him up. That's enough, Bill. You know I don't go for any violence, but the effrontery of these men is beyond belief. 
perhaps Bill is right. Of course he's right, Armstrong. Let's string him up and get it over with. Look, if I kill this man, do you think I'll be fool enough to bring him into town? That's a stall and you know it. Come on, boys, let's get it done. Hold it. Now, all you that want to continue breathing, raise your hands. And now with your left hand, very slowly, throw your guns out there. All right, now face down on the ground. Get down. Get down. How's that, partner? Real great, Dickie. Hold him while I get a horse. Don't move. Glad we got rid of them. I have a sore throat for a week just thinking about it. But you like tight tourniquets. Give them a big laugh, Lucky. <laughs> what do we do now? I saw a barn at the edge of town. I would go back there and make that our headquarters and plan a little campaign. I haven't declared war on anybody. There are a lot of places I'd rather be than here. There's a few things I'd like to know about some of the people around here. You mean like, gosh, mother, I hate violence, Armstrong, for instance? Yeah, for a man that hates violence so much, he was awful quick to agree to our lynch. Matter of fact, he was awful quick to agree about a lot of things. Young lady, if you're not going to shoot us, come on out and join us. Where'd she come from? I've already decided not to shoot you. Thanks, but I could change my mind. Not on my account, please. Are you really the range rider? That's right. It's my sidekick, the quest. Howdy. Well, I'm glad you're here. You too, I guess. How did you know I'm the range rider? I'm Gail Colfax. My uncle is, was the sheriff. I was waiting for him in his office when you brought him into town. You said that you're glad that we're here. Why? Because there's something very crooked going on. Now that Uncle George is dead, I, I'm really afraid. Who did shoot him? We didn't see the actual shooting, ma'am. But it had to be Sam Blades. It was Sam Blades, all right. He's out of the country by now after robbing a bank and killing all in one day. No, I don't think so. That's part of the crookedness I'm talking about. I'm sure there's some connection between Sam Blades and Clyde Armstrong. You mean the guy that runs the bank? That's exactly who I mean. It's Armstrong. He's a pretty big toad in the local puddle, right? He runs the town, if that's what you mean. Just a few days ago, my uncle was saying that he was swinging too wide a loop. That means he could be getting out of line in almost any direction. I know. When I asked him what he meant, he just laughed it off. Where does this Armstrong live? He has a ranch south of here, the Quarter Circle A. His foreman's Curly Bill Devlin, the guy that was so anxious to have you lynched. Maybe Dickie and I better go out and have a look at this Quarter Circle A. Well, you better take it easy. Armstrong's telling all over town that you two killed my uncle. 
They'll shoot you on sight as fugitives. I don't think we'd like that. By the way, where can we find you if we need you? I live behind the sheriff's office. Thanks. We may need you. Yeah. Scare me to death with your fool shenanigans. Everything all right? Right as rain. Good. Come on inside. Clyde's waiting. Dave, put his horse in the barn. Well, Sam, I see you made it all right. Why not? I just hold up until you had plenty of time to take care of those boys who brought in the sheriff. Well, Colfax is dead. Yeah, I uh, figured he wouldn't make it. And why on earth did you send him into town with his range rider, of all people? I had to. I rode up right after I downed Colfax. I just barely had time to grab his badge. You know, if they demanded some other identification besides that badge, I'd have been a goner. But my luck held. There's your dough. Well, there's enough here to replace my shortages at the bank, plus enough to spare to keep you two happy. Now all I need are the affidavits Colfax was getting. I never did get the straight of those affidavits. They would have ruined me. Colfax suspected I was looting the bank. He was getting affidavits from the big depositors to force a showdown with the Territorial Bank Commissioner. <laughs> So now that I've robbed your bank, there's no more shortage. Exactly. However, I'd still like to get those affidavits. You sure Colfax had them? I am. I have every reason to believe they're in his office safe at this very moment. But I'd like to get them before the city fathers appoint a new sheriff. Well, safe cracking's a little out of my line. But I reckon I can get the job done. Who guards that office? Well, there's a deputy. He can be gotten out of the way easily enough. That leaves only the girl. Girl? What girl? Well, Sam, I didn't know you were a ladies' man. George Colfax's niece. She lives behind the sheriff's office. Shooting girls is a little out of my line, too. I wouldn't want a shot. She will be. If she gets in my way. What are you gonna do with all that dough? Well, we place it in the vault to cover the shortage. Then I'll see if I can arrange it so you'll have no interference in the sheriff's office. Right. In the meantime, I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm starved. these eggs, Blaine. You're over easy. Say, what's this Colfax gal look like, anyway? She's mighty pretty. What? Be ashamed to plug her. Real good-looking ones are scared. Yeah, maybe you won't have to if Clyde fixes things right. Clyde's a mighty good fixer. Sure fixed Colfax. Timed it so he walked right into my gun all alone. 
Hurry up them eggs, I'm hungry. I'm waiting for the skillet to get hot. You can't cook nothing on a cold. What's that? <laughs> How do you do, Miss Gales? Hello, Mr. Armstrong. I'll get right to the point. Some time ago, your uncle named me as administrator of his will. And since you are his only heir, it is my legal duty to see to it that I read it to you as soon as possible. I see. Did you bring the will with you? Unfortunately, no. The document was drawn up at my house, and I've kept it there. However, I have my buggy outside, and we could drive to my ranch and have the formality of it over with in a short time. Well, I tell you, I have an awful lot of things to do today. Couldn't it wait till tomorrow? Well, I hate to seem insistent, Miss Gale. But this is very important. I see. Well, I'll just put on some lipstick. Now, where did I put my purse? You'll find that the properties your uncle left you, Miss Gale, are very valuable. Well, never mind. Armstrong's cattle brand. There's one in the mirror, too. Doesn't make sense to me. It does to me. The smart girl wanted to leave a message. She could use lipstick without being too obvious. Well, what's she trying to say? Probably trying to tell us that there's trouble at the quarter circle A. Let's go. what you do to me. I'm not going to give you the combination of that safe. You know, Armstrong, I like this gal. 
She's got spunk. Yes, but very little sense. You don't seem to understand that we're going to get into that safe, whether you give us the combination to it or not. As I've already told you, all I want are documents which are of no value to you whatsoever. If you cooperate, I'll give you $5,000 the moment those documents are in my possession. And if I don't cooperate? Well, we'll blow the safe, and you will simply disappear. Mr. Blades will see to that. All right, I'll give you the combination. It's left two, right 10, left 15, right seven, back to zero. Well, Sam, you come with me. Bill, you'd stay here and look after the girl. Sam and I are going to take care of things in town. I've gone into Border City to rob my uncle's bank of some affidavits. And a what? Affidavits. They prove Armstrong was looting his own bank. That's what's behind us, Sarah. Okay, can't you stop them? We can try, but first we'll have to make sure Armstrong's boys won't give us any trouble. Okay, see how you like being a shield. Now get out there and tell those guys to come on that bar with their hands up. Right seven. Left to zero. Seven tries we've had that. And don't tell me I made a mistake that time. Well, that settles it. She deliberately gave us the wrong combination. And she's the one you said didn't have any sense. Oh, shut up. Why, you... Customers, Gail? Oh, it sure is. We'll just file these boys away until the United States Marshal gets here. Well, and he can take them. I don't know how to thank you. Hey, he and I split even. Well, I didn't mean to. He didn't mean to either. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Do you think he'll be all right? He'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs>
really hope you enjoyed The Range Riders, starring Jock Mahoney and Dick Jones. And remember, it's brought to you free here on the internet by Wild West Toys. And you can shop with Wild West Toys at www.toyguntown.com. And if you're not already on the Westerns on the Web website, come on by and see us at westernsontheweb.com. Hundreds of free, family-friendly Western TV shows and movies. And also, I'd like to add this. Dick Jones is in this. Dick Jones was all over Hollywood back in the heyday of Hollywood. He was in movies with James Stewart, and with Errol Flynn, with Randolph Scott, John Wayne. Dick Jones was everywhere, all over the place when he was a boy in Hollywood. And he was a fantastic stuntman in this show you watch, a fantastic horseman, and Dick Jones is one of the nicest folks you'll ever meet. If he's ever at a festival that you have a way to go to, go and meet Dick Jones. It's worth the trip. Thanks again. I'm Bob Terry. Appreciate you joining us. We hope to see you get on down the trail. Y'all have a great day.